Ah, <sighs> good morning, my friends. It is literally just past 11 in the morning. Uh, I drove all the way up to, uh, I believe we're in Penyan, New York. It's up over the mountain from Watkins Glen, New York. Um, we're coming upon our, pretty much our only tra attraction for this trail. Um, you can tell by the title of the video what trail it is. Uh, it's an easy trail. It's a gravel path. It's uh, oh, just over five miles or about six miles long. I didn't look at my notes very well. But um, it is Christmas Eve, my friends, and I have chosen to come out here on trail. Miss Mindy is home in bed. Um, I probably did a no-no here, bad boyfriend, but I left her to clean up the mess from the family Christmas yesterday. Well, she's there cleaning up the mess and I'm out here enjoying myself in solitude with nature. <laughs> I know, I know. When I get back there, um, I will help with whatever may be left. But um, again, Merry Christmas, you guys. And, and I hope you all get what you want this year. But let's continue on with this trail. And this is a pretty awesome spectacle. All right, so our temps today are oddly, unseasonably warm for December. We are at just over 40 degrees here in December. Did I say September before? I meant December if I did. I might have to edit that out. <laughs> um, we are doing a 5.2 mile trail. I just looked back at my notes. This is an out and back trail, which again means we walk to one end and we walk back. Um, we're not actually doing the whole trail today. So the whole trail starts way back that way. There's nothing to see really. All you do is, is walk along the creek. I parked not really in the middle, probably a mile, maybe two miles up the trail. Um, we haven't even walked a mile and we've, all, we've got just over three and a half miles to walk yet. So yeah, we're not doing the whole trail, but I wanted to get out here. I wanted to see this. I come across this on all trails and I'm like, I've got to go here. This looks awesome. And I hope you guys enjoy this too. Check it out. guys think huh? this is awesome we're gonna make our way up top there to where we can see it from a different angle but uh, yeah I was gonna wear my Christmas hat today but I don't know I just kind of decided against it not that I'm not in the spirit or anything I love Christmas but uh, matter of fact I did my Christmas reading last night sadly didn't have a lot of people tune in um, the usual excuses you know and whatnot but anyway let's let's continue on here water level may rise rapidly I bet we're gonna go up there see what this thing is here.
are on a, another platform here. That's pretty awesome, my dudes. Give you a circle view so you can see what's all around me. Obviously, we come in from that direction. It's pretty cool. I mean, we're not even a mile in and we're seeing all kinds of awesome stuff. I'd really like to know what this is. It looks like some kind of a lift. Maybe there was a bridge here at one time or something. Um, I mean, I would assume because of that side, you see all that over there. I'm not sure if we'll even go over there or not. Um, I don't think we will, but who knows? Thought for sure I was gonna get wet today, but must be not. I wonder what the significance is of these big rocks here. I like to stop and check out these memorials. In memory of Lion Harold Chids Chidsey. Rest easy, sir. A little bare right now, but hey, it happens this time of year. So it says Cayuca Outlet Trail. We are doing the Seneca Mill and Cascade Mill Falls Trail today. So in total, it's obviously seven miles, but again, we parked, oh goodness. Where did we park? I want to say we parked, we were right here. Yeah, we, I parked, well, that's the fall. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's the parking area. Um, yeah, we're here. We must have parked here. And we walk to here. Uh, so we just seen Seneca Mill Falls. We are going to see Cascade Mills Falls. Then we'll get to the end. I don't know what's at the end. Um, but we got to walk all the way back. So it's actually kind of a good thing we started from here. Because there's nothing down here but obviously a bathroom. So there is a lot of history to these places too, folks. Um... Always respect private property. Current Falls look at, oh, okay. So this may give us a little bit of a, uh, you guys can pause this if you want to read this. So the history to these places, it, it's really cool to learn about. Um, when I go back and actually read what that says, you may find out what that thing by the waterfall was. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's how you learn things. You read things, right? Read, research. But I thought we were going to get more rain than this today. I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I find the rain when I'm out on trail calming, hitting the leaves or the branches or just the thud of it hitting the ground or whatever but um it certainly does not feel like december like not in the least because again today we're up over 40 degrees there's no snow it is not as cold as it usually is so but i honestly feel uh if you're to ask my opinion that we are most likely going to get pounded sometime here in mid to late January. 
Um, I could be wrong. I've been wrong about the weather before, but um, I wonder if this is a trail too, but, or maybe it's an old trail that's now private property because there's a house right up there, but we're staying on this gravel path here. Looks like some old railroad ties right there. Over here, we have the cl very clean water looking creek. And then over here, we got looks what looks like a swamp, probably some snappers in there. Hell, if it was Florida, we'd probably have some gators in there. <laughs> One of my favorite things um, about hiking too, when it's near a stream or a creek or even a river, is listening to the flow of the water. It's peaceful. It's just, and with the Christmas season here, it is literally right around the corner. Um, it's always hectic for everybody. I don't believe you should ever go in debt because of Christmas. Uh, if you are, I think your meaning of Christmas might be a little messed up. Um, I believe the Christmas season is about doing for somebody else maybe mending a relationship that's been on the fritz with you and a good friend or even you and a family member. Who knows? Maybe even an ex. Unless you're in a relationship, then, you know, those mending of relationships with exes don't matter. <laughs> uh, always be honest and truthful and, and loyal to the one you're with. Uh, I just believe it's a time to do something for somebody else and be involved with your family. Get to know your family again if you've been distant. And also, a lot of folks are religious. And uh, they say that it was Christ's birthday on Christmas Day, December 25th. Um, I don't know how true that is. I myself am not religious. I don't knock religion. When I was younger, I might have said some, some crappy crap before. But... Uh, now that I'm <laughs> pushing 40, <laughs> next month, my friends, the 12th of next month, um, I don't know, I just kind of come into my own person and realize that people are different, you know? They're allowed to have their opinions, they're allowed to have their views, and it's wrong of me to say otherwise, you know? Uh, so I've, I've done a lot of grown up, and don't get me wrong, I'm still immature in a lot of aspects of life. Um, I'm still very opinionated. Uh, do I think my opinions are right? Sometimes. And there's validation to that. I'll give you an example. You're in the store with your child. And they're begging for a toy, let's say. There's no reason to cuss and yell at them and call them names. You're embarrassing your child. Disciplining is one thing. But embarrassing your child is a whole different story. Um, now, that's my opinion on it. Other people might disagree with that. So, you understand where I'm coming from. Also, our time today, I wanted to share you with you some of my favorite, being so it is Christmas Eve, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite Christmas Christmas Eve stories. And let me tell you, a lot of, a lot of them involved very, very minuscule sleep. Hmm, what do we have here? You guys wanna go see? Yeah, let's go see. By the way, my dudes, this is a dog walking and bike trail as well. This may very well just loop back up to the original trail. 
Wow, I can't get over it. Look how clear that water is. Holy crap. Yeah, just a side trail to come down and enjoy the solitude of the water. How about that? In this little gorge here. Yeah, I see what this is gonna do. It's gonna loop us back up around onto the trail over there. I dig the detour though, that's pretty awesome. Got a few rapids in this little creek too. What do we got here? Do not disturb official game piece. Okay, well, my bad. <laughs> I guess I should have read before I touched anything. Yeah, water access. I didn't remember seeing a sign back there, but. Okay, so I just have to say, the only reason I touched that box is sometimes Hikers come across, uh, I can't think of the, the name for it, but it's a box that people leave things in. Um, I didn't show it, but when I was at the Tawanda, Pennsylvania State Game Lands, um, there was one of those I found. It was actually on a tree. Um, you might remember my trip up to the Fire Tower Lookout when I was in Watkins Glen, which is a few miles from here. Uh, I opened up one that was on a tree <laughs> and uh, there was a mouse inside it scared the ever living crap out of me but anyway I opened it up there was like there was a Pabst Blue Ribbon beer in there I love Pabst so if anybody wants to send any uh, fan mail <laughs> I'm just kidding you don't have to send me anything um, but anyway on to my first Christmas Eve story so back when I was young, I don't, I don't know what age it was. I would literally get no sleep because of Christmas. And on this particular night, we had a terrible, terrible thunderstorm. I wasn't scared of them, but my bed was in like a little alcove area at my parents' house. And I was looking out the window and I was watching the, uh, the lightning strike out in the distance over the mountains. That was really awesome. Uh, Christmas Eve, I was up all night, but what cooler way than to watch lightning strike out in the distance. It was just really cool. The thunder was loud too, but again, that's not what kept me awake. It was the fact that I was a kid. I was excited. It was Christmas time, Santa was coming. Or already came at that time. Um, and you get loads of free stuff, man. Who wouldn't be up all night? I get excited now as an adult to give my presents to the people I bought them for. <laughs> so my second Christmas story. Um, again, very young. I, well, actually, I think I was like probably early teens i was anywhere from like 12 to 14 maybe um and again this is a no age order or anything this is just as i remember them uh i remember getting up at like two in the morning one time and coming downstairs being so super excited i came downstairs at my parents place obviously i was young i lived with them um and it was like two in the morning and I plugged the Christmas tree lights in and we're gonna take a detour here. And I laid down on the couch and as soon as I looked up at the ceiling, my parents' ceiling in their house had like this 
spackling drip type scene. I don't know. I'm sure there's a name for it, but it looks like they took a rag, they dipped it in white spackling or paint and just dabbed it down the roof. It looks like it's going to leak down. And the way the lights come up through the pine needles and shined on the roof or on the ceiling, um, it looked pretty awesome. That was, that was a time I'll always, I'll always remember. Like I was super cozy. I was laying on the couch and just looking up and making designs out of the lights and stuff on the ceiling and the colors and it was just awesome. So a little picnic area over here, this is pretty cool. So speaking of picnic, I did bring a lunch today. Uh, I did not eat any breakfast. This is not a really physically demanding hike, so um, I just wanted to get out the door because it took me about two hours to get here from where I now live in my new apartment with Miss Mindy. Coming back up on trail here. So another Christmas slash Christmas Eve that I remember is <laughs> I had to have been, I've always been kind of a tall, lanky kid, uh, although I've put on some weight in the midsection since I've been, since I've gotten older, I should say, not since I've been older. Um, food tastes better. Now you can buy all the junk food you want because, hey, I work hard and I deserve to buy myself some junk food. Anyway, I was like 10 years old and I had um, Ninja Turtle underwear. Before we get back to our my story, that looks like the front end of a car. Wow, that's pretty cool. Don't ask me what type. <laughs> that's crazy how you just find this stuff out here. That W probably stands for Walker, you know. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Anyway, back to the Christmas thing. I was like 10 years old and I was wearing Ninja Turtle underwear. My mom even got pictures of it. If I can find it, I'll flash it across the screen for you. Um, <clears throat> but I was very into Ninja Turtles. I had almost everything Ninja Turtle that you could think of. I had the van. I had all the action figures. Remember when all the first live action movies come out? Like I had an action figure from like the cartoons and I had an action figure from like each movie it was made. And if you guys remember at one point in time, I think it was Ninja Turtles 3, um, they made like rubber type turtles, like real feel or something like that. And it was, re it was really awesome. Uh, I got a lot of I got a lot of Ninja Turtles that year if I if I remember correctly. But my parents have always been pretty awesome and bought me uh, and my brothers I should say all kinds of awesome stuff. But we got a pretty banging waterfall right here, you guys. You guys can kind of see where it's coming up by up top of this road or gorge down the side of the mountain here. That's pretty awesome. And another Christmas that I remember, and it's only because I have some pictures of it. Um, my parents, there's a picture of me and my dad and then me alone. And if I can find them, I'll put them across the screen. But my parents bought me my very first drum set. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the, the Muppet Babies, uh, but it had all the Muppets on the kick drum and there was a there was a rack tom, two cymbals, and like one over, there was like a floor tom type-ish drum. Um, but yeah, I was very, oh my God, I had to have been two, one, two, maybe three, three tops. Um, but that's where me being a drummer officially, <laughs> I guess you could say started 
And then I got my first big boy drum set, actual drum set when I was 17. And uh, I've been playing ever since, minus uh, I stopped playing back in 2019, I believe. Um, I believe I spoke on this before, but real quick, I'll reiterate. I stopped playing because I was in a band with somebody that was just a real Debbie Downer. And uh, I didn't want to deal with that, so I left. So all trail says we got a mile and a half left to go of this trail. So unless something interesting happens or those next falls come up, um, I'm going to put you guys away and I'll bring you back when something cool happens or when there's something cool to see or if I think of another Christmas story. <laughs> okay, we are back. Private property, no trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. All right, so we will not go over there, <laughs> but I thought this was really cool. Um, you can see at the top there, let me get in. It's like kind of crumbling and wearing away here. But when we get up here, I'll hopefully get a better shot. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, it, it might even be like an old smokestack to whatever this building used to be. That's really cool. We are in for some muddy conditions here for a little while. Water still flowing pretty elegantly. I think that orange in the side of the hill, I think that's iron. <laughs> I said, I might've said that wrong. Iron, <laughs> iron, is it iron or iron? I, I say iron. <laughs> See? It is a bike trail as well. And I swear I seen a hoof print back there. So they may allow horses on this trail too. Okay, now this really is not to scale on screen, obviously. But this, if this is a dog print, that is a big ass dog. <laughs> this one, it might be because it slid in the mud. This one doesn't look as big compared to this one. But, holy crap. It's another doggy print. More access to the creek for fishing. Looks like they're in the process of making that. Either that or they're just using it for storage for those concrete barriers. See that tent over there? Don't know if that's a homeless person or somebody's on their property uh, or if somebody's just camping out. Um, I do know the Finger Lakes Trail is someplace around here. This is not part of it because I have not seen any FT signs on the trees, um, but I know it's someplace around here. Uh, again, I don't know where exactly it is from here, but it's here within a few miles, of course. Picking tables. More water access. There's a bike. Down in closer to the water here. Pretty cool. I wonder if the bike is uh, the campers. <laughs> I don't know what this goes to, but we'll look and see.
Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to disturb anybody down through here if they're down through here. Because I feel that's how you get into that tent that's over there. And I'm not going to bug anybody. Just trying to live life, you know, to the best of their ability. You know, that brings up one of the safety features with me that I'll reiterate. Always have something to defend yourself with if you're out on trail alone, male or female, doesn't matter who you are. Um, and that's the other thing, when you're out on trail alone, you could experience something like that. Uh, it might be just a trail hiker that set up camp, but last time I seen it, it was private property over that way. Again, it might be the property owner's tent it might be their campsite but the bike and the grocery bags you guys seen kind of makes me feel a little bit different kind of connect the dots you know um i don't know if they may be drug addicts uh, i don't know their character i don't know their personality i'm not about to invade their territory that's where they quote live or are quote staying um i'm just out here to Make a hiking YouTube video. <laughs> Not cause any harm to myself or bug anybody else. Um, the only thing I have with me today is protection. I usually have a knife, but I was so ready to get out of the house. I went without it, or I forgot it, I should say. So all I have is my pepper spray. Um, but yeah, we will not stop back at those tables to eat dinner because I feel if they are homeless, or a drug addict and homeless they haven't eaten in a while and I'm not about to fight somebody off over them smelling my food <laughs> you never know my friends the world is a crazy place a little bridge coming from a parking area if you so choose to walk your pups it's been a really nice trail stock section fishing permitted trout fishing regulations all right so you can get in there and fish for trout during certain times of the year. By the way, we are almost at the end of our trail here, my dudes. So when we officially do turn around, it'll be lunchtime. All right, my dudes, as you can see, our trail goes on. Uh, like I said earlier, or like I showed earlier, the little plaque kiosk there said this thing is like seven miles in total. But being so it's Christmas, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I uh, kind of want to get home, and I do legitimately feel bad for not helping Miss Mindy clean up after the mess yesterday. And I helped make some of that mess, so I'm going to be a decent guy and make sure I help her clean up. However, there is one more thing I want to show you guys. I think this might be the second waterfalls. Um, the, the view is terrible. It really is. Uh, you can't get a good angle of it. Um... You know, right here, I think it's going to be the best. So I'll show you that. Then we'll head back and have some lunch. I got to stop at the restroom back that way too. Again, I know the view is terrible, but you can see the water right there. Looks like it comes down over a, I don't know. It's not a turbine, but I don't know. It comes down over something. It's a real craptacular view. I'm sorry, my dudes. <laughs> um, now, again, this Kiyuka Trail does go for a seven miles. Um, had it not been Christmas Eve, uh, I would have done. I know you're thinking, oh, what's a couple more miles? Well, again, I feel bad for not helping clean. So, Mindy, I'm on my way home. <laughs> of course, by the time you watch this, I've been home. Uh, probably helped you clean and we're watching a Christmas movie on the couch. Who knows? Um, yeah, so let's go have some lunch. All right, my dudes, we are almost back to the pavilion here where we're going to sit down and have some freaking lunch because I am hungry. 
Yeah, judging by the L on the pavilion and the L on the trash can, the uh, Lions Club does take part and help with this trail. All right, so today, for lunch, got beef stew. Tore off the label just in case it like melted or caught on fire or something. Well, we're gonna take this. I'm gonna set it right atop our lovely little stove and let it boil. Don't have any pot holders, so I usually carry an extra set of socks with me or a handkerchief or something. Grabs on to anything hot. Oh, I guess the top of the can ain't that hot. So there's a lady over there with her dog. Um, I assume she wanted to come this way, but probably seen me looking like homeless guy with my hood up eating a can of soup with this with a sock as a holder <laughs> my little stove <clears throat> probably thought I was some homeless guy or something but no I'm not homeless I'm just just a hiker stopping for lunch it's good by the way it's really good, especially when you ain't had anything. And I'll say it again. You bring it in, you take it out, or you dispose of it in the proper receptacles. Don't leave trash laying around. Don't be one of them people. Dessert, fruit and nut trail mix. Love it. And here we are, my friends, pretty much back at the beginning here. So we're gonna walk back in here just to get a bit of a closer shot here. And there she is, the blue beast. When I got here, that whole parking lot was full and I'm the last one on trail. I am ready for some hot food and a warm house. Not that I'm all that cold, but what's better than being at home warm, full, and with your loved ones, especially on Christmas, man. But thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I very much appreciate you. And I really do hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and an awesome and safe New Year to come. Set those resolutions. Um, 
I've sat mine for the first time in a long time. I've actually sat mine. And um, in January of next year, I should be able to buy my own home. Um, but all year I've set a resolution to save $400 a week out of my paycheck. Um, remember I own my own business too. So that contributes to that. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to, to get in my new, my new home and, uh, out of this whole apartment situation. I would rather much buy a home than rent, but y'all please stay safe, stay healthy. And y'all be good to each other. And again, have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful new year.